Hi, I'm Sean Borey of the North American Phonograph Company. Thank you for watching this video. This is kind of a legal uh, discussion. If you'd like to chime in, either yay or nay, it's fine. We're just opening discussion. So, I've read a lot of things con pertaining to the minutes and bylaws of the company I own, which is the North American Phonograph Company. For those who don't know, the North American Phonograph Company was the original owners of patents, contracts, devices, and formulas having to do with the art and science of recording and reproducing sound. Founded July 14th, 1888, uh, under Secretary Henry C. Kelsey in uh, Jersey City, New Jersey. Well, that's where the papers were signed and filed in the courthouse. Anyway, there is a set of bylaws. You can find them on the internet. I always have to do a search for them. And if you look at paragraph 10, if you uh, are manufacturing sound audio devices or using them, uh, all everything is grandfathered back to the North American Phonograph Company, whoever owns it. Uh, so I am claiming, claiming ownership of the North American Phonograph Company. And thus, all patents, contracts, and devices, and formulas, the licensing for such goes back to me. Uh, it's just an easy to understand, clear as crystal uh, in the original contracts. Now, none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for recent laws such as the Digital Millennium Copyright Act which renewed old contracts that were expired. Well, in doing this, they renewed the 1888 uh, ownership clauses, which state that the North American Phonograph Company owns all patents, contracts, devices, formulas, or anything else having to do with the art and science of recording and reproducing sound. So, just letting you know that. It's a fact. Therefore, I can dictate uh, what and how uh, to enforce these plans. Now, I might contact police forces, or I might make my own police force and start raiding media companies like CNN or ABC, NBC, etc., because I am making a formal statement that I am pulling their license, and they haven't had a license to begin with, so basically they are pirating the use of media equipment like digital tape recorders or anything because our contract says anything, formulas, uh, contracts, devices, or patents dealing with the art and science of recording and reproducing sound. So everything reverts back to this 1888 company and it's all renewed by the Digital Millennium Copyright Act and other modern acts that, uh, what happened is, is that a lot of the golden age of recorded sound, you know, stuff from the 40s to the 70s you know, all the classic rock and uh, classic records, the, the really good old-time country music, all that, all of the contracts and everything, all the royalties were starting to, uh, they were starting to expire. So they made all these little acts to try to still get revenue because their older catalogs, they were still getting more money than the new music because, you know, the staples like the Beatles and Elvis and stuff like that. And uh, so, in doing that, they forgot about the first media company, which was the North American Phonograph Company, who, who I, I am president of. And I have been watching all this uh, unfold very much interest. And looking back in our bylaws, uh, sub, there's a subcontract of uh, paragraph 10, which states that if a violator, it is my up to my discretion if I can take their building. So, the Abu Dhabi investment group that owns CNN, I'm going to be contacting them and telling them that CNN is a liability, and if they don't get them out of there, that they will lose their, their, their building. Because even though it's worth like over $1 billion, it's mine. Because it's just, here's an example. So you drive a car, you're going down the street in a car, and you don't have a driver's license, or you're, well, more or less, you're, like driver's license is suspended, right? So, it's the same thing. What do they do? They take your car, right? Same thing. You are recording sound without a license from the original licensor of 
Sound, which is the North American Photograph Company, which I own. So, very plain and simple, I can take your building because of the original contract from 1888, which was renewed by the Digital Millennium Copyright Act and other modern uh, media acts that, that uh, protect intellectual property. In fact, basically all intellectual recorded audio property is my property because of the original contract of 1888. You can go on, on the Edison, uh, Thomas Edison papers and read this stuff and you'll know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to bring this up and uh, I'm sure this will create a lot of controversy in the phonograph groups. And yes, I am taking full responsibility for this and if I have to testify in court, yes, I do own the North American Phonograph Company and there is nothing you can do about it. Have a good day. Thank you.